Hey YouTubers, it's Brian from Get Back to Golf. Guys, I um, was talking to one of my friends via messenger uh, through my page um, and just was like, man, my vlogs are starting. Me. They're starting to look all the same. Uh, same shot, same course. Uh, I'm kind of like, you know, it's going to get boring soon, so I don't want to lose lose my uh, my viewers. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, I did have a couple questions uh, that I'll answer now before I hit the course. I'm in the course parking lot. Somebody asked me, what do you eat before you go play? Like, uh, do you have any nutrition? Or uh, guys, look, I'm not the poster boy for nutrition. I, and the thing is, is as you can see, my gut's been growing. <laughs> so I'm actually going to try to lay off some, uh, you know, the empty carbs. And uh, unfortunately, it starts with a B and ends with an R. And uh, it's the beer, so I'm um, gonna cut back a little, uh, maybe just on the weekends. Um, also, what I I find that works best for me for nine holes, I can get me through nine holes without you know being starving. I usually will eat these uh, these Nature Valley, and this isn't a sponsor or anything. I'm just saying like a, one of these granola bars. I actually just got a new one. Uh, it was a two for one at 7-Eleven, so I'm just going to try a gingerbread one. I'm not a big gingerbread fan, but you know, two for one, you basically get one for free, so check it out. Um, why not, right? Um, sometimes I'll have a little uh, Snapple. It's not anything that's crazy healthy. Again, I'm not the poster boy for health. I'm definitely not uh, anybody that you would want to have as a nutrition nutritionist, but those are the things that can... I don't like to have a huge meal. If I have a huge meal, I feel real. I feel like I want to go to bed, I go back to sleep. Um, so something light, something easy to digest, even just maybe sometimes some water, and uh, like a granola bar. Or I used to have these really cool special K bars, but I don't have one with me. And it was uh, cashews and caramel and something like that. I'm not a big sugar fan, because um, it's another thing too. You have a lot of sugar. You seem to crash quick. You get that quick high, and then you crash fast. So anyway, another gorgeous day. Let's go hit up the course. Uh, if you have any other questions, suggestions, or anything you want to see, put in the comments below. Um, also, you know, check uh, check the uh, description for links. Um, if you guys do ever shop on Amazon, even if it's not golf stuff, can you just click that link? Uh, it'll actually give me, you know, whatever three percent of whatever. It, they decide to give me and every little bit helps um, so you know I seem to be always working on 3% because uh, real estate as well so anyway guys uh, I'm gonna go hit the course I don't know how much I'm gonna video it might be a short one today yesterday was a really long one so back to back it's hard for uh, everybody to uh, sit and watch I'm sure you guys have other Game of Thrones and stuff to watch so anyway guys let's go hit the course there must be a guest here because uh, we're not this fancy to have that kind of a fancy car. But I gotta say, I think it's pretty sweet. Anyway, let's get back to golf. I just want a few shots without talking. I figured uh, I'm babbling a little too much. But man, I just ducked that chip. Almost went in. You can see how close it is. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna do a little foot wedge in. I know it's illegal, guys, but I don't really care. But anyway, three pars, three holes. I missed the uh, first hole. But this day is just gorgeous, guys. Hope you guys get out to play. I don't know how many more days are going to be like this. And uh, then it'll be a rough winter, you know? All right, well, carry on. I'm going to try to talk less, play more, see if I can get nine in. We'll see. I got a motor. 
Alright, let's get back to golf. All right, that was a funky chip. I've done that before. Hit it into the sand, let it skip, and then it just kind of dribbles towards the hole, but it's a lot more rough than it's usually there to letting it grow out a little. But still, even par after four holes. All right, let's keep going. That guy's hit a sand shot. Man, when was the last time you guys seen me hit a sand shot? Um, I tried to fade it into that front part of the green, have it bounce right up because the pin was close. And it just faded a little too much right in the sand. Not bad recovery. Still made par. So after five holes, still even. I'm a little deflated today. Tom Deflady. Um, but it is what it is. Mine's not totally into it. But uh, see if I can get it together for this last three holes. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, this is crazy. I just hit that shot pretty close, looking for Paul, uh, Birdie. And I think the freaking coyote, I don't know if I can zoom in close enough. I think a damn coyote sitting right on my next hole. Oh man. I might be able to, I don't even think a car could beat it out. But it's just sitting there in the sun. Oh no, maybe I could scare it. This might be the end. Huh, oh, what a day. All right, right as I uh, saw in that last clip, the coyote's probably gonna eat me on the next hole. I did birdie, so now I'm one under for five. Oh, for six. That was, that was a tricky putt. But all right, let's see, uh, adventure's on. Camera might be on too, so if I get killed, at least it'll be on uh, documented. All right, love my wife and kids, <laughs> just in case. All right, guys, it's totally confirmed that is the coyote. I don't know if I should just skip this hole, go around it. Or see if it'll uh, take off. It already it already moved, as you can see, it's moving now. Um, supposedly it looks well fed, but uh, who knows? It might be lunchtime. He's staring at a, at a member right now. He doesn't even know what's going on. All right, that adventure. At least it got exciting today, huh, guys? Oh well, could be my last vlog, <laughs> whether I like it or not. All right, let's see. All right, this damn thing ain't moving. Let's see if I can get him out of my way. Hit him with the bomb tech. Just wanted to play a fade out there, try to scare the coyote away. I think I just did. But I don't know, it's gonna be pretty sketchy. Let me see. What club do I not need to defend myself with? Huh. All right, wish me luck. I actually scared it away uh, with my tee shot. But I just sent the pro uh, 
a message saying the coyote is sunbathing on seven. He's just sitting right in the woods somewhere. Obviously you can't see him. So this shot's gonna be really quick. I'm not getting it on video. Um, he's pretty skeppy. Oh, there he is right there. I don't know if you can see him. He's literally sitting in the woods. Can you see him? I don't know if you can see him. He's all camouflaged out. That's pretty scary shit. Literally just sitting in the woods waiting for somebody. All right. He's staring right at me now. Huh. I don't know if you guys see that. There he is. Get out of here. Go. Go. All right, do my job as a member. Scare him away. He's gone. He's taken off. Woo, guys. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was pretty sketchy. He's big. He didn't look like it from uh, 250 yards away, but up close, he's pretty uh, pretty big. All right. Again, I ain't sticking around making sure he's, but I told the club. Woo. Just when you think you can just go to the course and enjoy yourself. It's survival. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me just get this done. Guys, pro came all the way out fast. He didn't bring club with him, but I had my, uh, I used to, actually what I grabbed was my uh, BombTech 2 iron. I figured with the weight of that thing, one shot to the head would pretty much kill it. Um, it was big, but he thinks it's a, he thinks it was a fox. I don't know. It looked like a pretty big dog. And if it was a fox, it's a pretty big fox. Anyway, guys, that was exciting. And I pured an eight iron right into the green too. Unbelievable. Anyway, great outdoors. Let's get back to golf. Another birdie, one under, another birdie putt. Alright guys, I'm going to rush this shot because uh, I don't like the surroundings. Alright, absolutely crushed that. Maybe I should rush all my shots. Ha! Huh. if I'm sketched out. Look at this woods all lined. All the way down the line. And then back there it's really sketchy due to the fact that it's all woods. I actually one time I hit the ball and the bear jumped out and was scared. I was actually with the grenade one. I have video. I don't have video of the bear. But man, I always wonder what I do in those situations. I didn't do anything. I didn't freeze. I didn't just was like, wow, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, whatever it was, we scared it away, or I scared it away. I didn't have to even get that close to it, as you can see in the video. Anyway, pretty funny. And I thought my vlogs were getting boring. Go figure. All right, guys, get back to golf. That was two three irons, by the way. Absolutely pured. That friggin' three iron. You're gonna have to rip that from my dead hands after the coyote eats me. All right. All right, let's get back. I just stepped out with a flop shot. That was sweet. Yes, that was pretty crazy. Um, but finished out the round. It was, everybody showed up at the course. Uh, so there was guys driving around, a golf cart guy was cutting through holes because there was a foursome. The women, I didn't get it on video, but the women came down, and one lady was in my fairway, and then decided to just walk right down the middle of the fairway. So I put the camera away. I had a not so great tee shot, but not, because I had a voider, so I wanted to stay out to the right as much as possible. The last thing I had to do, snap hook in right, right into her. Um, but then, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to say, on that par five, 
but that was where all the, the commotion started coming up. Everybody's saying hi, blah, blah, blah. But I, uh, I birdied it, so I was two under. Um, it coming into the ninth hole. And then I parred it with a rem remarkable, miraculous uh, chip shot right next to the hole, which really saved it. I did like a little, little punch, just eight up and around, and I wish I had that on video because that was pretty sexy. So anyway, guys, is uh, it started the round started off pretty blah and ended up pretty exciting. So I don't, I don't know if it was a coyote fox. It sure looked like a coyote to me, but um, either way, it was just sitting out there, hanging out, loving life, sunbathing. So. And then I had to come along and ruined its day. So anyway, guys, uh, like, click, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment below if you guys have any ideas, because I'm running out of them. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, if you're thinking about buying any, uh, you know, wedges or uh, driving irons or whatever, make sure you guys click the uh, that link in my description. I don't know if I can put one in the comments. Maybe I'll put one in the comments as well. It really helps out guys every little bit helps and uh, I just hope this all motivates you guys to get back and play some more golf even today I wasn't even motivated to play but I told I promised you I'd get you a hundred vlogs and sure as hell I'm gonna I'm gonna damn for sure make sure it happens <laughs> anyway guys keep uh, sharing with a friend I appreciate all of you thanks a lot I appreciate it have a good one peace